Okay, last week OpenAI have released the uh, ChatGPT desktop app, but they released it only for Mac and only for a limited number of users. This is the internet and people have quickly found a way to work around that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the ChatGPT desktop app and jump ahead in the waitlist. So let's talk about it. So what can the app do? ChatGPT desktop app behaves very similar to Spotlight or Raycast. Basically you press option space, like so, and the message ChatGPT window pops up. Let's ask something simple. Plan a trip to the Galapagos Islands. And it quickly goes and answers that with the GPT 4.0 model. You can also just have it do um whatever like use dali so basically very similar to just using ChatGPT in your browser window it is kind of faster and feels a lot more fluid and uh, native to macOS. if you have another app planning you can take a screenshot so for example entire screen and you need to uh, give it permissions first so you go to system settings privacy and security and uh, screen and system audio recording and give it a permission. Take a screenshot of uh, the system settings and say, how do I enable chat GPT in this screen? And it gives you help on, um, in this case, system preferences. But the coolest feature that uh, chat GPT desktop app has is the voice control. So let's start it. Hello, chat GPT, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing well, thank you. What can you do? I can help with a variety of things, like answering questions, providing information, generating images, assisting with data analysis, and more. Is there something specific you're looking to do today? Uh, can you maybe tell me a joke? Sure. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. Can you tell me something else funny? I'm glad you liked it. What else can I help with today? Yeah, maybe you can um, tell me how, what would be the best way to get to the Galapagos Islands? The best way to get to the Galapagos Islands is to fly into Ecuador first. Most travelers fly into either Quito or Guayaquil. From there, you can take a direct flight to one of the two main airports in the Galapagos, Baltra Airport near Santa Cruz. Is it safe to fly those? Yes, it is generally safe to fly to the Galapagos Islands from Ecuador. The airlines operating these routes, such as Avianca, Latam, and Tame, are reputable and adhere to international safety standards. Can you tell me a picture of the Galapagos Islands? Here's a picture of the Galapagos Islands. I hope you like it. Is there anything else you'd like to know or see? You can check out the images in our conversation history. No, that's it. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome. Have a great day. There you have it. The whole conversation appears here. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Of course, here's a bedtime story for you. Once upon a time in a peaceful forest, there lived a little hedgehog named Henry. Henry was known for his soft, shiny quills and his kind heart. Can you please sing it? Okay, what language was that? Okay, I have no idea what happened here and why it switched to whatever language it is. Are that's my accent or some bug? I don't know. Let's try this again. Can you please sing the bedtime story? I wish I could sing it for you, but unfortunately I'm not able to produce audio. How about I help you create a melody or suggest a tune you could sing it to? If you cannot produce audio, how? I see the confusion. When I say I can't produce audio, I mean I can't create or play actual sound files or recordings. I'm speaking in the sense that I'm generating text responses for you to read like a written conversation. If you'd like, I can help you with anything else in text form. Can you make the sound of a cow? Moo. <laughs> that was funny. What about a cat? Meow. Meow. The first trick is actually kind of funny. You can actually go to ChatGPT and ask it to give you the URL for the app, which is not available on uh, OpenAI's website. Yeah, so ChatGPT hallucinate the URL, nothing here. If that doesn't work, you can just use uh, the direct link, which is linked in the description below. You go to bit.ly slash HTML, chat GPT Mac, you get the URL and save the app. 
open the app and drag it into your applications. Okay, from the internet, yes. Login and choose an account. And you get a message saying that coming soon and you do not have access to the desktop app yet. So how do we get it running despite this message? Well, it's a simple trick. Close it and then we go continue with Google. Login again with the account. Quit the app before it opens. When you open it again and it works and it's open. How are you doing now? Hi there. I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you and I can't wait to get started. So what's the game plan? Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. How can I jump in and help? Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just let me know. I'm gonna choose that one. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm recording a YouTube video presenting your new capabilities. Uh, and this is the ending of the video. So what should the viewers do in order to stay uh, up to date with all the latest uh, digital life hacks, AI uh, gadgets, and you know, how should I end the video? That sounds exciting. To keep your viewers engaged, you can suggest to stay up to date with the latest digital life hacks and AI gadgets. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. If you found this content helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And as always, leave your comments and questions below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. How does that sound? That was perfect. And you guys, you heard the robot. That's, that's what you should be doing. So there you have it. It's pretty cool and you can um, install it today yourself if you have a Mac computer. And if you have a Windows computer, you get a lot of the similar functionality a bit later this year in Copilot. And of course, the model itself is gradually being deployed to all the ChatGPT desktop or like web users being deployed for free. See you in the next video. Bye.